buddy. Uh, original Hypnotoad here. Uh, bringing you a uh, quick little update video. Uh, I guess this is my first video, so I'm going to say it's update. Uh, basically, this video is going to be about the Pokemon Battle League, which is a league that I am a part of. Uh, this league was started by uh, Eric, and I believe my turkey subs on uh, Twitter. And I happened to follow both of them on Twitter, and I saw one post saying that, you know, they're starting a battle league. And I've always been wanting to do one, so I figured I'd go ahead and join. So, uh, right now, I'm actually not at home. I'm at on vacation uh, in Arkansas. I'm at my aunt and uncle's house, because that's where we stay. And uh, I'm outside right now, because everybody's inside, and I didn't want to, you know, record this with everybody around, so... Yeah, so I'm just gonna make this kind of quick, short uh, video talking about, you know, my draft, what I did, kind of like what my thought process was, and that's gonna be about it. Uh, so, hold on one second, I got a little notebook here. And sorry again, the quality is really bad. I, uh, I'm doing this on my phone. Like I said, I'm not at home, so I don't have any of my equipment with me to, you know, record a decent video. So I just wanted to get this out here though, because I figured, you know, get it out here so everybody can see. I mean, I know my channel is new pretty much, so it's whatever. So how the draft worked was there was 10 normal rounds and then there was a mega round. Uh, the mega round, you gotta go, uh, you can only pick a mega Pokemon and then 10 rounds you can pick any Pokemon. Uh, we had a point limit where we had a thousand points with each tier Pokemon having a certain value of points. Uh, cap of two OU Pokemon. And so with that in mind, I kind of wanted to plan on getting a lot of UU Pokemon, which is what I ended up doing, so, yeah. So, uh, first, uh, the Mega Round, I was the 11th pick overall in the 12th pick, and 12 picks. Uh, I originally wanted Mega Alkazam, but unfortunately, that was taking the pick right before me by, I believe it was Eric, I think is the person who had it. Might have been a couple picks before me. But yeah, I really wanted to make it Alkazam because I have I had a uh, Alkazam who's already uh, bred and ready to go, and also I just love Alkazam. But instead, I went with Mega Gardevoir, and Mega Gardevoir is still very powerful. Uh, Pixelate is a great ability. Uh, he has decent speed, so I'm happy with that pick. All right, and now going into the normal draft. So mainly. Uh, Real quick, what my draft mindset was is pick Pokemon that are very versatile. Uh, I didn't want, you know, like just simple one, you know, one trick ponies for Pokemon. So, with that in mind, my first round pick was Gyarados. Now, Gyarados' Mega was actually picked by, I believe it was uh, Macho Imoga. Uh, but we made a rule saying that you could pick Mega Pokemon. Uh, Mega Pokemon's non-Mega form as long as you weren't the owner of the Mega form. So I could go ahead and pick up Gyarados, which is what I did. Uh, I like Gyarados because he's very versatile. He can set up, sweep, he can be uh, he can be a tool Pokemon, he can you know get Thunder Wave, he has Intimidate, which is a great ability, he has Moxie, which is a great ability for setting up and sweeping. Uh, so yeah, that's why I mindset there. Uh, next Pokemon I went with was Arcanine. Uh, I know I went with two Intimidators right in a row, but I like that just because I don't have to bring both of them. I can bring just one of them and still have Intimidate on the team, which I love the ability. So, And Arcanine is also very versatile because he can be, uh, you know, kind of a wall. He has uh, recovery moves. He has uh, status affecting moves. Uh, he's pretty strong in the attack and speed. So, And he gets priority in extreme speed, which is really nice. Uh, next pick I went with for the third round was Garchomp. Uh, I was actually surprised to see Garchomp go this long. Actually, Mega Garchomp wasn't even picked in the Mega rounds. So uh, I like Garchomp because you know he's a pseudo legendary, uh, great s stats all around. Uh, he gets access to Stealth Rocks, which is nice. Uh, I think he's the only Pokemon on my team who actually does get Stealth Rocks. Uh, so yeah, Garchomp is a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, fourth, I'm going to kind of speed up. I'm not going to really say exactly uh, too much for these next rounds just because I want to kind of hurry up, get back inside because it's kind of warm out here. And also I'm a little under the weather, so uh, I'll go ahead and speed up these next rounds. 
So, uh, fourth round, I picked Crobat. Uh, main reason behind this was good speed, uh, ground immunity. Uh, I had a couple weak. I had Arcanine who's weak to the ground, so I liked to have it. I liked having a ground immunity. Uh, he also gets, you know, good abilities in inf Infiltrator and uh, Inner Focus, I believe he gets. So, that's the main reason why I picked Crobat. Uh, my fifth round pick was Heliolisk. Uh, I like Heliolisk a lot. I've never really used him in uh, Auras. I've used him in uh, Showdown. But, yeah, I like, I like Heliolisk. He's got pretty good speed, pretty good, pretty good special attack. So, slap on a Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, and let him do some damage. Uh, next pick was Darmanitan. Uh, this is a sixth round pick. I was surprised Darmanitan went this far in the draft. But, once again, I like the versatility because not only can he be a physical sweeper, he can also be a special sweeper with his ability Zen Mode. So, you know, I might I might probably, I might try out the Zen Mode Darmanitan once or twice, see how it works, but we'll see. And now, so, just a little uh, note here. Uh, round 7 through 10. I was actually at a party last night, uh, or whenever this video goes out. I was at a party when this draft was happening, and my phone actually died on me. So, through picks 7 through 10, I had Eric just uh, give me random uh, UU Pokemon. Uh, basically because, you know, I had the points uh, to use, and I just wanted, you know, UU Pokemon. So, uh, I'm going to just kind of hurry up for these four because I didn't really pick them. Uh... But I'll kind of, you know, like, just give my overall thoughts on them. Uh, so, sixth round, I got Blissey. I'm uh, pretty happy with Blissey. Uh, it's a good special wall. Uh, it gets good status moves. I think he, he might get Stealth Rocks. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but, yeah, so I got Blissey seventh round. Eighth round, I got Milotic, which is amazing because I actually was thinking of picking up Milotic. Uh, he was kind of on my draft board. So, I got him in the eighth round, which is amazing. Uh, ninth round, I got Mandibuzz, which is a good Pokemon. Uh, I've never used him before. I know he gets Defog, uh, Foul Play, so pretty good Pokemon in that. And in tenth round, I got Toxicroak, which, once again, I don't really use Toxicroak. Never really have. Uh, I know he's got pretty decent attack. He's got uh, access to, like, Fake Out and Sucker Punch, so that gives him some priority. So, yeah, that's my draft. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I was happy with my first six picks in my Mega, and then getting my Lodic was just an added bonus because that was actually one I was going to pro try to pick up. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for when this starts. Uh, we have a two-week period of uh, breeding, so we're not going to be really doing too much now, uh, which is good because I can go ahead and breed all my Pokemon while I'm on vacation a little bit. Uh, I'll be back in you know, my home by the time we get there, so... Uh, yeah, just be expecting more uh, videos once the two-week period has come by. Maybe I'll upload another video just kind of like talking about, like, you know, my breeding, how that's going, kind of some thoughts, some ideas of Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.